Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome back to another episode of House of the Week on the play.snakemc.com server. This is my server, and this is the survival part of the of the server. Um, as you guys know that have watched this series before, um, every week I feature a house that's been built by someone on the server. This is a rather fancy, grand looking house. This is actually built by um, two of my staff members, um, Senna and, and, uh, and uh, Little Miss Angel. Um, they weren't both staff members when this house was starting to be built, which is why I'm featuring it, because to be honest, I don't tend to, or I don't really want to, um, use my staff members' houses, purely because they spend a lot of time on it, and they've got a load of time to sort of mess about building stuff, but this is such an impressive build, as it was started when Senna wasn't um, actually a staff member, he's only been recently added to become mod, um, yeah, I thought I would feature it, but as you can see, it is a rather fancy build. It's got some wicked looking sort of Roman centurion statues out the front with their faces, their, their skin faces uh, on the wall in the back and a kind of diamondy egg thing um, in the middle. Um, as, you, as you come over this little bridge over the, over the water, um, you first thing you come across is a little uh, little building down the stairs here. It is the Stable of Stability and there is uh, Senna's horses and uh, Little Miss Angel's horses with some armour. Both got three horses looking fancy. Some horsey warsey stuff's in there. I'm not even going to bother looking in the chest because it's none of my business. Um, but yeah, looking awesome. Let's go past that then and up into the entrance. Um, as you can see, Senna and, uh, and Little Miss Angel's House of OTT Riches. They have a mailbox each, so if you want to come along and visit this place, you'll see this near... Um, I actually don't know where it is actually in relation to the rest of the build because I always get teleported here by them when I come and have a look at it. Um, Anyway, yeah, if you want to drop some stuff off, I'm sure if you ask them when they're on the server, they will let you come and have a look and have a tour around. Uh, but yeah, let's go through the gate. Clonk, clonk. Everything's very loud. Um, yeah, their mailboxes, that's their stuff to pick up their, their mail or their, their gifts that they uh, they start. There is um, an upstairs. Should we start with the upstairs? Yeah, let's start with the upstairs. So, welcome to the home of Senna and Little Miss Angel. Enjoy your stay. Got a couple of diamond swords there. Let's go to the left. So we have the Bruation Station. <laughs> Brewation station. There we go. So we've got a little bit of um, some brewing stuff going on here. Chest and some a cauldron, some brewing stands. So we've got a. Oh, I think actually, yeah, I think there's a mob grinder here as well. I keep when I had a look earlier. I think there is a mob grinder. Well, um, we might be able to see this. I might be able to show that as a little sort of sneaky peek afterwards. I don't think there's any way of accessing it. I think it's just a completely hidden thing now. But um, I will try and show you it afterwards. Um, here is the library and the enchanting area. You can see a load of bookshelves. There is their enchanting table, fairly standard fare, but it looks well because it's been integrated well into the design. It's actually been integrated into the mob grinder, the mob spawner, which is wicked, which is a really good idea. I think the same thing is on this side, but we'll go and have a quick look. I guess uh, they've got the side each, but I think this is, uh, oh, hello, there's a, there's, a, there's a villager around here somewhere. Yep, there is the same thing on this side, so that's cool. Um, let's go upstairs again and see what else is up here. You can hear more mobs, mobs dying. What have we got here? We got, it looks like we've got all oh, the armory. Okay, so I think they've got their own armory again. So we've got the swordsman chest, which I guess is all their swords and stuff in there. We've got an archer chest with bows and arrows, light infantry, so less powerful swords and stuff. Um, juggernaut uh, with with loads of powerful X sort of OP stuff, I guess. Oh, looks like there's a second a second um, a mob spawner here as well, maybe. Looks like they've got two mob spawners in the same place, which is really cool. Um, okay, so there's that. Let's. Uh, what else have we got? Have we got anything higher up? I'm sure there is something higher up as well. There is another level. So how do we? Ah, oh, here we are. Look. So we come up here, up this way into the bathroom. Ooh. Now this is rather fancy. Um, I did empty the bath on this side earlier. So let's just start with an empty bath. So you get into the empty bath. There, there is the empty bath. You press your button, turn the tap on. There's the bath. Let's have a little splash in the bath. A little wash. When you finish your bath, you jump out, grab a towel, turn the bath off, all the bath, uh, empty the bath, and the, the plug all lets the water run away. Very, very clever. Very clever indeed. Um, now, around here, we have a toilet. And uh, is, there a, is there a flush on the toilet? It's not really. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be, a, as this, I think this is Little Miss Angel, so I'm going to be annoying and leave the toilet seat up, because I know women hate that. <laughs> this is really cool. When I saw this, I love this. Um, just sort of um, the tripwire hooks. But they've put some some red and blue um, wool in the background, which gives it the impression that it's a hot and cold tap. I love that. I've never seen that before. And that is really, really cool. I'm sure it's existed in other places. But yeah, I really like that. And I will try and do that myself, I think, when I do builds in the future. Because I, I love that idea. And that is how people get ideas for builds, isn't it? By seeing others um, and, and you know getting ideas and 
nicking little things from them. That's really cool. I love the taps. This here is the shower. So we're going to jump in the shower, have a little shower. Again, we've had a bath, so we don't really need the shower as well. So we'll uh, we'll turn that off. There we go. We'll turn off the turn off the shower. Awesome. There is another level up again. So let's see if we can go up there. One more level up. I think there's one more level. What have we got here? This is the guest bedroom. Looking really fancy. So we've got some chests that you can store your stuff in if you're here for the night. A triple bed. So if you are a rather large person or have got some other people with you, then you've all got a bed, which is really cool. A little bit of music if you like. The same thing is on the other side. So we're going to go up one more time. I'm just going to heal myself because I'm running out of food. Um, and we've got Little Miss Angel's bedroom. So we're into the little... Uh, the, the, the secret area. Um, we've got Spooky, she's Jamie's dog. Um, Autumn, uh, Maggie, named by Moon Turtle. That's uh, Moon Turtle's daughter, that is, sorry. They've named um, Maggie and Barney. We've got Little Miss Angel's bed here. A little jump on their bed. Whee! Uh, right, there we go. And we've got a little fancy wardrobe here, which is looking cool with some shelves in. I think the same is going to be on the other side, so we'll go and have a look at. Uh, Senny's room, let's see if his, I guess this is exactly the same, yeah, this is his bedroom. Got some lights up here, I think. I think these turn off the lights, yeah, that's really cool, I like that. The reason I saw the mob spawn was because I didn't hear the mobs at the time, but I saw the water dripping, so I was, um, I was looking around thinking, yeah, this looks like a mob spawner, because of the, the, the four directions. Got some more dogs here, hello Benji, hello Taylor, hello Grace, and hello Dodd the dog, I guess that's named after Doddler, the other, one of the other mods on the server. Uh, another wardrobe here, and there's Sen, Senny's bed, let's bounce on here, woohoo! Bounce on their bed, right? Can we get up to the mob grinder? Now I don't. Oh, what's this? For her, for His Royal Highness Senna at of or Her Royal Highness Little Miss Angel. Uh, no snakes allowed. I don't think so. Whee looking over the realm, looking over their land. Looks rather fancy, doesn't it? Some other builds happening there. Yeah, sorry, but uh, you know, this is my world, and I will rule this land. You may think you're in charge of this little bit, but this is all my land, and I will. Sit in any chair I wish. Um, okay, now it doesn't look like we can get up to the mob spawn, so I'm going to do a little bit of cheatiness. So here we are inside of the uh, inside of the the mob grinder. As you can see, it was a mob grinder. I was right. Um, it's got the water flowing down into the centre there, and uh, the mobs drop down into there, and they uh, yeah, and then they they go into the uh, yeah into the into the into the hoppers. So that's really cool. I'm going to head back um, and go back and finish off this tour, so I'll see you guys when I'm back downstairs. So we are back downstairs, we are in the main area as we started off, Dodd was here apparently. Um, what have we got here, we've got a living room here, this is looking fancy, we've got a, is this, a ping, this is a ping pong table, table tennis, how awesome is that? That is really cool, we've got the net and the, and the, the green bays if you like on the top of the table, that is really cool, could easily be a snooker table as well, I guess they could double it up and convert it, got a nice fireplace in the corner with some plants in a little library area. Looks like we've got a TV. Um, that's really cool. Some speakers. And then we've got a cool kitchen over the other side. And the kitchen is where all the uh, all the fancy stuff happens because I noticed this when I first came in. Got the taps again which I, I saw in here the first time. Got a lovely uh, fridge which is cool. Nice dining room table with a bit of cake. And uh, down here we have some stuff. It says uh, jump if you dare to the depths below. Woohoo! Boing. As you can see, lots of farms. I'm going to try and come off of here and show you the sorting system that they've got, which again is a kind of, I don't know if it's an improvement on the one we showed last week on Ghost Angel and Shadow Ghost's house, but um, it is quite cool. Got some armor stands down here, and I noticed there is a secret room through here which shows all the fancy redstone um, tomfoolery that goes on. Now, we haven't really been able to show the redstone, but as you can see, it's just lots of um, comparators, hoppers, chests, and redstone. Um, and redstone repeaters down there as well, and literally just you know that by doing this, the the uh, put in, you fill up the hoppers in a certain way, but you put in different amounts of, of stuff in um, to get different amounts, and um, I think that's for the 16 stacks. I think there's a different configuration for um, for the other stacks as well. I'm not sure if it, I think it's four six six. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it's six and then four four four. I think you put in the hoppers. But um, yeah, that's the, oh, that was stuck. That's the uh, that's the configuration. That's how they set up all these wonderful things. Um, so you've seen you've seen the other one. I won't show you this in too much much depth of how it works. But you literally go up to their their dumping chest, their sorting chest, which is up there. Um, and when the light, then you put stuff in there, and the light turns on. And then when the light turns on, it then gets sorted. Let's um let's go to the shop, and I'm going to buy some bones just to 
just to show it, I think that would be a cool thing to do. There's some bones, is there some bones? Some bones, uh, bones, 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 miscellaneous, boys some bones in there, there we go. Let's just buy, I'll buy four bones, right? How many bones they got in there? They've got no bones. So I'm going to put some bones in the chest. There you go. The light will come on because items are being sorted. And there we should have in a second, um, hopefully coming down to that. Oh, yeah. I think it's in there, the bones. Actually, I looked in the wrong chest. But here you go. The bones will go into that into that system there. But it's very clever that the light goes on. So I think I said last time, if you if you open chests while items are being sorted, it can either break the sorting system or just slow it right down or stop it completely. Um, so, yeah, that little light system is very clever. So I've been down the slime. I'm going to go back up the ladders now and look each level one by one. A little infinite water pool, or is it a hot tub? Who knows? Cooling down while they... Uh, Looking at this stuff, there's the access to the dumping chest if you can't reach from the floor if you're shorter. Looks like we've got an automated um, uh, pumpkin and melon, or just a pump, I think it's a pumpkin farm, this one, um, which is really cool. And it obviously gets pistoned off into chests when, uh, I guess, do they ultimately go down into the into the sorting system as well? It'd be quite cool if they do. It'd be very cool if they do. Um, next level is. Ah, this is a sugarcane factory, so that's really cool. Another automated system, a sugarcane factory. Very loud, sorry about that. Um, I should really turn my noise my noise down, should Oh, I just fallen down! Uh, up to the next level. Fell off my ladders. Um, right, let's go up to this level. What we've got here, we've got a cactus farm. Now, I've got this in my, uh, something very similar to this in my faction server. As you saw that, a bit of cactus is coming down now, washing down the water into the hoppers. That's very efficient. And again, probably heads down into um, into the sorting system altogether, which is really clever. I haven't got to empty any of this, which is a very, very efficient system. No emptying, which my, I have to do on my one. I have to empty. I'm going to have to empty stuff myself. We have the wheat farm, which again is just, it looks like it's all automated again. So clever. I love it. I'm not going to press it. I think there's a button somewhere there. Yeah, there is a button there. Oh, wheat and carrots. And the water will come down out the dispensers, um, clear it all up, all get picked up by the hoppers and drop down into their sorting system. So it is totally, totally automated. It's only shame you can't get automated replanting. That would be very clever. Um, so there's another level of wheat and carrots. What we've got on the next level. Ah, we've got nether wall up here. So you've seen this kind of thing before, but again, not automated straight into the sorting system. Very clever guys, very impressed. Very, very impressed. I like the way the bar has been raised. Each house I've found, um, it has got better and better. We started off with old Anne's house, um, and hers was a fantastic build. The house itself was fantastic, but she had a really cool automated farm system, but not automated, so it went back into sorting. And she didn't have a sorting system. Um, and each house we've done so far has got progressively better, but this one, I think, by far is the best one we've seen. I know I say that every time, but it, it is really cool. So we've just got a normal animal farm here, some sheep, some pigs. Um, yeah, some, some cows and some chickens. That's really cool. Again, I think the hoppers pick the stuff up automatically. Um, I'm guessing the cows, they have to slaughter themselves, though. I don't think they... That doesn't obviously get done manually. What we got here? Oh, we have a tree farm. So they've got lots of trees growing. They haven't replanted some of these. But that's quite cool. And then uh, back up to the kitchen. So, guys, that is it. That is Little Miss Angel and Senna's house. Um... Love it. I absolutely love it. Really good job, guys. Good to have you as staff on the server. And you've made a fantastic contribution to the server as well with this house. I think it's really amazing. Guys, if you want to come and see it, I'm sure you can contact them on the server. Why don't you come on? They'll be on. They're on pretty much every day. So, uh, yeah, contact them and ask if you want to come and have your own tour. For now, guys, I'll be Snake Doctor, and we'll see you again soon. Ow, ow, run away. Run, run for your life, Snake. Run. We'll see you again soon for some more uh, of House of the Week. See you soon. Bye. Get away! That's a creeper! Ah!